The thing that nobody tells you about being an adult and having to keep your own house is how exhausting it is. And it feels sometimes like you're living in a hamster wheel. You're just going around and around doing the same thing day after day after day. And after a while, that can lead to exhaustion, a feeling of being overwhelmed, and even burnout. So let's talk today about ways to deal with that, to get through those times when you just don't even want to lift a finger, and why it's okay to feel that way. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Berry. If we haven't met before, I am a cleaning expert. I have 12 years of experience helping millions of people around the world. Today I want to start helping you. When it comes to feeling burned out, tired of cleaning, I get that too. Everyone goes through it. It's just not everyone talks about having that experience. And some of us are in active denial. So a lot of times when we get overwhelmed with keeping the house, we blame ourselves and we think there's something wrong with us. We'll start thinking, and you probably hear that voice in your head, oh, I'm just lazy. Oh, I can't do what other people do. Oh, uh, something's wrong with me. The reality is there is nothing wrong with you and you're not lazy. Everyone goes through feelings like this. But living in denial, as I've mentioned before, means that you'll push yourself to continue taking care of your home, even though you don't feel like it, and that will come out in your relationships. So instead of doing that, instead of denying how you're really feeling, let's talk about why you're feeling that way and why it's not wrong to feel that way sometimes. So when it comes to cleaning, you know, we, we just think of it as, oh, I pick up a rag, I wipe things. But there is so much more to it than that. There are many things that go on in your head when you're getting ready to clean. There's what do I need to clean? How long has it been since I've cleaned it? What do I use to clean it? Do I have that thing that I need? Can I use this cleaner and this cleaner at the same time? Should I clean this other thing before I clean this? So we add in that some things are just yucky to clean. Um, and we all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ew, booger! Then there's the lack of validation. You make time in your life to do this. You push yourself, perhaps, to physically do it when you're not feeling up to it. You give up other things that you could be spending your time on. You spend your time cleaning up after everybody. And at the end of it, nobody notices. In fact, they don't notice so much so that they leave their mess laying around. And the whole time, Cleaning is a very low reward activity. So how do you live with this feeling of burnout? How do you get through it? I'm going to tell you some ideas, but it is very important that you don't just sit there and go, oh, that would never work, because that's what tends to happen. People get to a point where they feel stuck in life, someone offers a solution, and without even trying it, they say, that would never work. You're choosing to completely dismiss and ignore any possibility of somebody having an idea that may help you. So listen in, let's talk about ways to deal with the burnout. The first one is give yourself permission for a day or two or a week or two if you want to take a mini vacation from your responsibilities of cleaning house. Do the bare minimum. I've discussed before what the bare minimum is, but essentially it is making sure that your food preparation surfaces and your bathrooms are not filthy. I didn't say clean, I said not filthy. So if you get to the point where you are just feeling like you're drowning in housework, give yourself permission to take some time off from it. So when I talk about taking time off, everyone thinks about messes piling up in their home. If you're taking a vacation from a job outside the home, work piles up. It's okay. You don't say, I'm never going on vacation because work will pile up at the office. You still take that vacation. You deserve to take a vacation from taking care of your home too. Now, many of you are thinking, oh, my family would never put up with that. My husband, my wife, my children, they just complain. And I'm telling you, if you want to deal with burnout, you need to take care of yourself. And I do have an entire article about this on my blog. The link is in the description. So you might want to read that too, so that you understand there are benefits to taking a vacation or to taking a break from taking care of everyone. And those benefits aren't just for you. Your family will benefit from you taking a break and taking care of yourself. Another approach would be to hire help if you can. I'm not saying that you have to hire a weekly cleaning service. It is possible to hire a cleaning service to come in one time. Yes, that means that somebody will see your home looking like a mess. So what? Cleaning professionals do not judge what your home looks like. 
Now, if you are saying to yourself, but I can clean my house and that just seems like a ridiculous expense, try to remember that people can paint their homes too. They can mow their lawns. They can change their own tires. But we routinely hire lawn companies, house painters, and mechanics to take care of these things. Now, if you've been thinking to yourself, but my partner or my spouse would never put up with this, I'm going to talk about that, but first I'm going to tell you some ideas to avoid the burnout in the first place. And before we get into this, I want to remind you, hit like, because it tells YouTube that other people need to see this too, and it tells me that I'm actually being helpful to you, and I appreciate knowing that. Many times, the very same people who say, okay, I would love to take a break, but my partner would never put up with it are the same ones who say, I clean house and my partner just messes everything up. If that's happening in your home, your partner or your spouse don't see those messes and take them personally. They're making messes and they know that it has nothing to do with them being a good spouse, a partner, a friend, a human being, whatever. That's why they don't care if they make a mess. So if your partner or your spouse is messy, and you're worried about taking a vacation because the house is gonna get messy, I have some good news. Your partner or spouse isn't gonna care. They don't mind the messes. They know that living at home means messes happen. In fact, they probably don't want you feeling like you're constantly having to pick up after them or nagging at them because you're constantly having to pick up after them. They aren't expecting you to constantly clean up after them and provide a spotless home. Who's expecting it? You. What about if it's a parent or a relative who visits and you're worried about you know, what they're going to think if they see the messes in your home? Why are you having somebody in your home who judges you? Flat out tell them you're on vacation and if they actually make you feel uncomfortable in your home for taking a break and allowing it to just take care of itself for a while, don't invite them in. You don't owe admission to your home to anyone. So if you're feeling like you also can't take time off and just take a break from your home or back off the standards of spotlessness because people on social media might actually express negative opinions of you, there are two solutions. The first one is obvious. Stop posting pictures of your home. Or, and here's the second one, realize that the negative judgments that people make about your home are really reflections of their own messed up priorities. They're the ones that think that having a spotless home makes them a good person. But if they're expressing a negative opinion about you and your home, are they a good person? Or I guess there's a third approach, and that's this. Separate your identity from your home so that you understand how lovable and wonderful you are, regardless of how it looks. And your messes, they have nothing to do with who you are. It's just part of being human. It's okay to be human. In fact, kind of fun. Have some fun with it. I'll see you next week.